Hi, it's Samuel. I forgot what day it is in terms of numbers. I think it's about day 18, day 19. Uh, we've done our first thousand Ks, uh, which is a significant achievement in and of itself. And uh, we've gone from being in the country to being in the outback. And uh, it's a Saturday morning. Uh, it's a really quiet road with very little traffic, so the boys have, uh, have earned themselves a, a well-deserved sleep in. I was keen to get started early because we've, uh, we've been pushing late at times because of the amount of work we've had to do separate to the road. And um, that's, that's meant that I've been kind of riding uh, in the wind or often against the wind that picks up at about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. So I had a bit of a um, meltdown yesterday. Um, I, uh, I battled with the wind and then with myself and uh, came through it determined uh, to avoid that afternoon wind at all costs. Um, so I'm up, up bright and early and it's beautiful. I feel like, uh, I don't know. It's like being up at three in the morning or, you know, when no one else is around, it, it's an extra special time. There's um, emus and kangaroos are plenty. I've been trying to capture them, but they're pretty quick and wary of humans. <laughs> um, and the iPhone uh, isn't that steady atop the old unicycle. Um, but yeah, just a bit of a video blog uh, this time instead of the written word. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Connie is, uh, for anyone who's um, keen to know how she is, uh, I get a lot of uh, people asking. Uh, Connie's very tired and in a lot of pain, uh, to be honest, and um, I'm a little bit worried about her, but she is still working feverishly behind the scenes on this event and enjoying it. I'm glad to report. Um, I'm hoping that she's well enough to meet me in Alice. Um, she was unable to go to her dream destination a couple of times um, recently. She's been, she's always wanted to go to France and uh, it just hasn't been possible. Uh, so I'm hoping that instead I can drag her to some of the uh, most beautiful points in Australia. Uh, um, Connie, if you're watching, I miss you and I love you. Um, and I'm hoping that you do uh, stay well enough to meet me in Alice. Um, I should use this opportunity also to um, to say hi to my main man Kai. Um, be good little man. Uh, respect your mother. Um, and do your best to behave in a uh, in the way a, uh, in the way that a real man would. Um, my love to Sarah. Um, to my other sister, Hilda, um, who's just had a birthday. Um, happy birthday. And um, a big thank you to everyone who's sweating it out on, uh, on Love Your Sister. There's, there's a big army of people all contributing and they all know who they are. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, the, the amount of work that goes into something like this is pretty incredible and um, it's not a simple operation. It seems so at first glance. Um, seems like you just hop on a bike and go from A to B, but, um, but it's much trickier than that. And, uh, and to everybody that's helped make it happen, thank you seems a small word. Uh, and last but not least, I've, I've got to throw a massive shout out to the, uh, to the good folk at the project on Channel 10. They've um, taken a genuine interest in our story and um, without them we wouldn't have raised the money we have and we wouldn't have people stopping and giving us roadside donations uh, and we wouldn't have the, uh, the wonderful receptions that we have when we get into towns. Uh, what else is there? I think that's about it for the moment. I uh, might as well sign out. This is probably a longer video than I was recommended to make. Um, but yeah, welcome to life on the road. Sam style.
I'll try and give you a panoramic. <laughs> Over and out. Chat to you next time.